We're going to go ahead and do a linear programming application problem. Just to remind ourselves, we have to find an objective quantity, what we want to minimize or maximize, write the constraints and graph them, find the vertices, plug those vertice points into the objective quantity, and then find the minimum or maximum. So let's go ahead and get started. Here's our application problem. The Algebra 2 quiz consists of computation problems and graphing problems. Computation problems are worth 6 points each, and graphing problems are worth 10 points each. You can answer a computation problem in 2 minutes and a graphing problem in 4 minutes. You have 40 minutes to take the quiz and may choose no more than 12 problems to answer. Assuming you answer all the problems attempted correctly, how many of each type should you answer to get the highest score? So let's go ahead and break down all the pieces of this by finding our objective quantity, our constraints, and also defining the variables. We need to go ahead and define our variables. Our computation problems we're going to call x and our graphing problems we're going to call y. So x is going to be the number of computation problems and y is going to be the number of graphing problems. Then we have to go ahead and identify our constraints. We can only answer 12 problems. So we have x number of computation problems and y number of graphing problems and that has to be less than or equal to 12 and we have only 40 minutes that we can take this test and it takes us two minutes to answer each computation problem so 2x it takes us four minutes to answer each graphing problem so 4y and that has to be less than or equal to 40 minutes and then finally both x and y have to be greater than or equal to zero because we cannot have a negative number of um, computation or graphing problems. Finally, we want to write our objective quantity. We want to maximize our score so we know that our score is made up by the number of computation and graphing problems. We get six points for each computation problem and 10 points for each graphing problem. Now we have four different constraints, four inequalities that make up our constraints, and we want to write them into slope-intercept form. So we're going to subtract x and get y is less than or equal to negative x plus 12. Then we're going to subtract 2x and we're going to have 4y is less than or equal to negative 2x plus 40. We're going to divide each one by 4. And we would end up with y is less than or equal to negative 1 half x plus 10. And then x is greater than or equal to 0 and y is greater than or equal to 0. Now that they are in graphing form, we need to go ahead and graph these four. Here are our four inequalities that make up our four constraints, and they are in slope-intercept form. So let's go ahead and graph them. So I'm going to graph x is greater than or equal to 0. It's our vertical line. And when it's greater than or equal to, it's everything to the right. So I've graphed that one. Then I'm going to graph y is greater than or equal to 0, and that's going to be everything above. So we've graphed that. Then we're going to graph y is less than or equal to negative x plus 12. Well, here is 12, and we're just going to go down 1, over 1, all the way. and we're going to draw our line and since it's less than or equal to we would shade down and then y is less than or equal to negative one half plus ten 
Here is 10. We're going to go down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2, and here would be our line. And here, because it is less than or equal to, we're going to shade down. Now, the key is that you shade the overlapping part of all of these. So the overlapping part is the shaded area right here. Now the next piece that we have to do is identify the overlapping points of these lines. So we have one here, one here, one here, one here. So we have four vertex points. Next we'd have to identify the two equations of the inequalities that would make up these vertex. So here we'd have x equals 0, y equals 0. Up here we have y equals negative 1 half x plus 10 and x equals 0. Here we'd have y equals negative x plus 12 and y equals negative 1 half x plus 10. And down here we'd have y equals 0 and we also have the line y equals negative x plus 12. Now we have to solve these four systems of um, equations to find our point of intersections. So first of all, we have to solve our system of equations. So we would have 0, 0. When we plug 0 in for x here, we would have y equals 10. So we would have 0, 10. When we plug 0 in for y, we would have x equals 12. So we would have 12, 0. And then last, we have to solve the system of equations by elimination. So I'm going to multiply the top equation by negative 2. And then I'd have negative 2x minus 2y equals negative 24. And then when I solve that, I would have 2y equals 16. And when I divide by 2, I would have y equals 8. And then I need to solve it, set it back into the equation. So I would have x plus 8 equals 12. And finally, x equals 4. So I would have the point 4, 8. So now what we need to do is take our objective quantity, which we're trying to maximize the score, 6x plus 10y, and we have our four vertice points, and we're going to plug those vertice points or evaluate them into our um, objective quantity and find out where our maximum occurs. So going ahead and doing the math here, when we plug in 0, 0, we get 0. When we plug in 12, 0, we get 72. When we plug in 0, 10, we get 100. And when we plug in 4, 8, we get 104. So our maximum occurs at 104, which is at the point 4, 8. So finally, what is the maximum value? 104. What combination of problems produces problem? 4, 8. So to earn a maximum score of 104 you need to do four computation problems and eight graphing problems. This is an application of linear programming. <laughs>